What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Kalima, and welcome to Kalima Cam Word of Wisdom. In this video, I want to talk about why you shouldn't work for free. Obviously, this is for the entrepreneurs, me, myself, I'm an entertainer, um, and I think there's always this you know, tug of war is like, do I do this because of the experience and the exposure? Or do I, you know, actually ask for my value and, you know, put a rate out there that says, this is what I think is um, a good rate for the both of us. And, you know, I, I want to get paid for my work. You know, I'm not a volunteer. I'm a, I'm a worker and I, I give 110% and I deserve something from that. Um, First, I think we should talk about a gift versus passion. Steve Harvey talks about this way better than me, so definitely um, look into his lectures. He talks about it a lot. When it comes to your gift versus your passion, your gift is something that you just naturally succeed at. Even, you know, the whole Kanye West thing. He's not a great talker, obviously. He's not a great promoter, whatever the hell, you know, he's doing. He's obviously um, making himself known more for his persona and his celebrity than his gift as an entertainer because look at Beyonce, look at Jay-Z. They make sure that the only angle you really know about them is their gift and their talent, you know? And so he's sort of crossed over and it's become sort of an issue with his business now because his passion has now affected his gift. So your passion is something that, you know, you enjoy. Maybe you work at maybe 50% of the time you work at it and then the other 50% is, you know, this feels amazing. It feels right. I enjoy waking up every day. But your gift is something that you should really figure out and there's several ways to figure that out. I'll, I'll probably talk about that in a different video. But the thing that you should monetize on is your gift. The thing that comes easy to you and you can make money off of it. For me, it's entertainment hosting. It's um, singing and songwriting. I am a stronger songwriter than a singer. I used to sing a lot more, but you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Music is, you know, a muscle. Singing is, uh, your your voice is a muscle. So if you're not working on it, you're you're gonna wither out, and you need to, you know, work on it again. But for me, my gift has always been writing, has always been communicating, and that's why I can stand in front of a camera and feel like I'm talking to someone that is my best friend because it just comes naturally to me. Um, if you know that your gift shines when you do it, that everyone notices. Oh my goodness goodness like you're so natural or oh my goodness you know you were meant to do this then you should not be working for free <laughs> they say it takes 10,000 hours to become a professional so if you're starting out if you know you're good at it or maybe it's not a gift maybe it's a passion and you want to work to making it you know more on the gift side you know um you should start working on those 10,000 hours. But the question for yourself is, how many of those 10,000 is gonna be voluntary so that I can get the experience? Honestly, the best way to answer that is to not answer at all and start somewhere, start that first step so that you can get the education and you say, okay, I got the rhythm of this so much so that I'm coming up with my own ideas where I don't even really need these lectures. I don't even really need these classes. I'm now evolving this craft to where I think that I'm bringing something different to the table as an entrepreneur. That's when you're saying, okay, I've done 20 hours, 30 hours, and I'm now feeling comfortable enough to where I can take it on by my by myself. Now, the thing about business and being an entrepreneur and evolution in your career is that you change your mind and you evolve every single day. Oprah went from her own television show to her own channel. You know, even now we saw that she actually sold own. So, you know, every single couple of years, couple of days, couple of months, you find yourself realizing, okay, now the world has shifted and this is now in my best interest. That's okay. But guess what? Oprah ain't doing it for free. Whether it's failed or whether it's a success, she knows that if I'm going to give 110%, I better be getting paid for it. And what is the point of working at something unless you get something back? Now, for me as an entertainer, anyone who's doing something on the creative side, the art side, 
um, whether you're a painter, you know, a singer, an actress, whatever you're doing uh, in the creative realm, because obviously it's harder to put value on a creative realm because it's your own artistic art. That's when you need to come up with your own rates of what's worth it for you. What is it worth? for you to get up out of the bed, to put your makeup on, to use your miles, to use your gas, or to, to work this particular project. Now, is this project something you really, really have wanted and they're saying they have no budget? That's a whole, that's a whole nother conversation, which we'll get to. Or is this like, you know what? This is just another day. This is gonna be an easy event. Um. I don't really need to go here, but whatever. For me personally, I'm like, if it's an event that I know could really catapult my career, which it probably, you know, you never really know how do you how do you ever know, but um, is it something that I think is worth the exposure? Then I'm going to, and 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 then the person says we actually don't have a budget for this, um, but we're looking for someone who would be open to doing the project. I used to say, okay, and and like I said, evolution, depending on the situation, how I'm feeling, I might say, okay, I'll go ahead and do it for free. Now, if I'm doing it for free, like if I'm in, and when I'm speaking, I'm speaking in hosting and songwriting and singing, um, there's got to be something that you're bringing to the table. I'm not bringing a camera. I'm not being the camera person. You have to, you know, if I'm working in this, if this is what you're using me for because they'll they'll say hiring which annoys the hell out of me because hiring means there's a monetary value to it but if they're saying we're hiring you just to be the host here then you better have a camera person and you know i better literally just show up and have a, and and you take your mic and and lights camera action and for me i am at a place where i can really do that you call me right now i've had several calls. Most of the time in entertainment, it is a last minute thing, 24 hours, 48 hours situation where it's like, hey, our girl called out, we need you. Or, hey, I just got this client, I need you. And I'm like, all right. First, I tell them if they don't mention rate, first, I let them know for hosting, this is my rate. This is hourly. If you need me to bring my own production, which that's, that's professionalism, where it's like, you are ready so you don't have to get ready. I have my own camera, I have my own mic, I have my own tripod, I have everything to where it's like if you're in New York and you know you got a call that you can cover the red carpet of the Grammys, Kalima's gonna be there because she's ready to go, you know, whether you have a camera person or not. So th that's the level of professionalism that I'm bringing to the table where I know that I deserve to be paid for this. But if the, you know, and that's that's kind of how I look at it is, do they have a website? Are they really, do they really not have a budget? Or is there, you know, are, or are they really accessible? And clearly if you're, if you've got X amount of followers, X amount of subscribers, then you clearly are getting money off of ads or something. And we're, and I'm in Los Angeles, you spending $50 on your gas. So I know you got $50. I know you got $20. That's my, that's my thing, you guys. When, when I say don't work for free, I'm not saying you have to give outrageous prices. I'm saying that you need to put a value to your work. If you know that you're only going to be somewhere for two hours, then listen, can you just give me gas? Can you, um, you know, and the thing is, if they really need you, then they will pay for that. And if they don't need you, then goodbye. You Now you've set the bar saying that if I hit Kalima up, if I hit this person up, I better at least have $20 because that is her requirement. It's just like relationships. You, If you go out on the first date, are you kissing on the first date? Are you paying on the first date? Because please believe if that dude sees that you do that, he's always going to take that extra second when the check comes and sees if you reach for the check. You know what I'm saying? He's going to know that, you know what, it's happened before, it can happen again. The way you set the standard is the way that you will be remembered. That's the reason why Beyonce and Michael Jackson, these these uh, Oprah, these heavy hitters, did never came half step and they knew that the first impression is everything. So they made sure that let me at least put this in place. And so for me, I said, listen, I didn't come all the way to Los Angeles with $3,000 to be working for free for a long time. I, I haven't even reached those 10,000 hours, but I felt the waves of the industry to know, okay, Kalima, you, you're you gifted at least. 
you know, you're at a level where the average host doesn't necessarily have the gifts that you have as a host to where I know that I should be getting paid for waking up to do this job. And if you decide at some point, you know what, this is the Grammys, they they, they somehow got, because that's my thing, like, if you're on the Grammys carpet, if you got approved to be on the Grammys carpet, you're super reputable and you obviously, you know, have some sort of income coming in because to become reputable enough to be on these massive carpets, you've obviously put some work in where you've made a return. But if for whatever reason, they don't have it to give to you. You never know if people are really going through financial issues, whatever. Most of these companies are independent, unless it's a powerhouse like E, which of course there's always going to be a rate included. But, you know, if that's the case, obviously I'm going to do the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Obviously you can do that. But when it comes to that first impression, make sure you say, I usually charge this, but I will make an exception because I really want to be a part of this project, you know, that's another thing, you know, make sure that you come off respectful, but firm in these emails and in these conversations with people, let them see that you're a professional, because I promise you, especially as a female working with men who own these companies, you have to have a strong, firm, but respectful um, demeanor about yourself and the way that you conversate. And you know, going back to us being creatives and us being entrepreneurs, we love what we do. Of course, we just want to get out there, go to those, go to those opportunities and do it. But it's not worth doing it for free because now you're telling the universe that this is just a hobby. And if I could just start getting, if I could just continue getting these opportunities that I don't necessarily have to make money from, I'm a happy person. Maybe that's where you are. Great for you. But we out here trying to secure the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time. You know, if not now, when? At some point you have to say, okay, you know what? I've been on a couple carpets. Okay, I've been to a couple events. Okay, I've I've done a couple projects to where I don't need to be an assistant anymore or I know that I've been assistant so long that I could really finesse this manager position you have to say I think that now is the time where I can at least put a rate there maybe not that 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 maybe that intermediate rate maybe not the you know um executive or expert level rate but I'm sick of waking up putting way more effort than they are because more nine times out of ten they're putting way less effort than you are to do your job you know um and so therefore we got to talk about pricing um think of your ideal rate what is the rate that you would love to wake up in the morning and know <sighs> I'm getting paid today and this is how much I'm getting paid you know like I can happily wake up and know that my rent's gonna be paid or you know what I'm saying like think about that ideal rate I'm talking about add a little interest on it you know like this is enough for my rent but I also could you know go out once a week with it you feel me like go out go out to dinner and treat my friends or treat my mom you know think about that ideal rate now as a person who's an entrepreneur, you have to be able to break down that rate. So $500 is what it's going to take for me to wake up in the morning and happily be like, I love what I do, okay? What's um 50% of that? $250 is the fact that I'm, you know, doing my own makeup. That's all included in the 250. Therefore, you know, uh, you know, the fact that I'm doing my makeup, that's included in the 250. My gas is included in the 250. Um, you know, this, 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 and that. Break, break down the percentage. Break that up into thirds or halves. So that way, when people come to you and they say, okay, we're going to actually give you gas. We're going to actually give you this. You can go ahead and deduct that and be like, all right, this is fair because now this is my, this is my, this is the remainder of what I think I should be owed. Or maybe, you know, evolution. Sometimes you're in that time where you understand that this rate actually is a good negotiation and I can take that. Um, but at least when someone comes to you and asks you what is your rate, you're not, oh, I don't really know what my rate is. I don't know what their pockets are like, you know. You can say to yourself, you know what, my rate ideally is this. This should be what an hourly is for what I'm delivering. You find out exactly what your expertise requires in that position. 
Start making a list of what exactly is all entailed. Add a value to that, you know? Add it up, see what you get. Maybe it's super freaking high and you don't really think that you're out of place because that's the thing. Don't come half stepping, but don't overvalue yourself. There is a, there is a such thing as overvaluing yourself. Kanye West, you feel me? Like he thinks some people think this is all promotion, you feel me? But really he's kind of his ego is a little bit ahead of him to where he thinks he's a god in the sense of everybody's just gonna ride the train because i'm kanye west like nah like no you gotta like be realistic and take responsibility for what you're putting your value at so if you're just trying to get some money they're gonna see that because you're gonna show up ill prepared and they're gonna be like wow she was really raping us you know so um you know be realistic about it um but make sure that you can break down that price so that you know exactly what you're delivering and it's so great to know what you're delivering because when you get in those professional meetings and those professional conversations about you know these specific projects and you want to get a certain amount of money for it you're giving them information before they even have to ask you you're telling them what you can offer before they even have to ask you know it shows a level of understanding about what you do Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please, please subscribe. Definitely comment. Let me know like what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like. If there's any questions I can answer, I would love to. And of course, follow me at Kalima of Wisdom everywhere.